What a fellowship, what a joy divine Leaning on the everlasting arms What a blessedness, what a peace of mind Leaning on the everlasting arms Leaning, leaning Leaning on the everlasting arms What have I to fear? Leaning on Hey Adam, thank you for calling me back. Yeah, so... So yeah, I talked to Sophia after our meeting on Friday and I think that we, we've got, a, we got kind of a new idea, a new plan, basically. Let me run this by you real quick. Oh no, 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 no. So this company is really, uh, they just, they just got founded last year and I think, I think it's chic. I don't know. How's the hunt? They miss you. I should have never introduced you to John. I know. <laughs> okay. How about... Guide me, O oh thou great Jehovah. Okay. D, please. Sylvia. Hey. Hey. How you doing? I'm, I'm good. How are, you, how are you? Good. Good. You're back? Yeah. Yeah. I've been back for two years. Wow. You married? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know. It's crazy. It is crazy. Um. Uh. Do you want some of them? I mean, I could get you... No, it's okay. No, I mean, okay, sorry. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, um, <laughs> wow, it's so good to see you. It's really nice to see you, too. Um, okay, well, I guess I'll see you around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm here.
You live around here? Um, no. Milwaukee. It's a long way away. Yeah, I flew all the way from Wisconsin. <laughs> See you. <laughs> Do you want to get a drink? Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Well, <laughs> this is, uh... Yeah. It's what have you been up to for 10 years? Ooh, has it really been? Just about. The last show was in July of... Yep. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit, indeed. You look good. You look better. You haven't changed. <laughs> <laughs> don't know what you need. Sure you don't. How are your parents? Good. Great, actually. My mom's retired now. Mm -hmm. She's gotten really into healing crystals. You mean she's gotten more into healing crystals? She was doing that back when you were around? Uh, yes. <laughs> she believed in them so deeply. She made me believe. Sort of. At least then. Really? Yeah, I still have some. I thought this was a new thing. Maybe this was our secret. Hmm. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I love your mom. She is a good lady. I miss them. I'm sure they miss you too. Do they know about your living situation? They do. And they're... They're supportive. And, uh... My aunts. Please. Did something happen? Are you okay? Are you safe? I'm honestly happy. I know it's hard for a lot of people to understand. Okay. You've heard of minimalism? Or the tiny house movement? Yeah. You know the philosophy behind that? I mean, sort of. You live with less so you can live more. You're just taking it a step further. Well, more than a step. A few steps. I play music, and that's it. No day job, no responsibilities. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. Your only expenses would be... Food and a gym membership. Wow, yeah. Got clothes on my back, and if something wears out, I replace it. That's pretty much it. And the gym membership, I assume, is for... Shower. I didn't get any that. Yeah. What about laundry? Yes. Quarters to the laundromat. What do you wear while you're doing laundry? <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> yeah, I wear shorts and a tank top, pajamas. I wear it when I do laundry. How extravagant. I know. And what about, I mean, sorry for asking this, but what about just living with your parents? Is that an option? They offer. But I'm 30. You're 30? <laughs> You're freaking old, man. And you must be a, still a new about 29? Almost dead. Yeah. I mean, yes, 30 is just a number. And I'm not tied to any societal expectation of what a 30-year-old should be, you know, in society. But for me, I want ownership of my life and to be able to sustain myself. And you make money just playing on the street? Yeah, I'm a gig here and there. I've got a few corners that I do pretty well at. Tourists love them. Yes, you're very Portland. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you're more Seattle, actually, but old Seattle. You got that Kirk Levin thing going. Always have. <laughs> Ladies love it. I think you might have gotten old by now. Never. <laughs> oh. I'll take another of these whenever you have a sec. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Speaking of being old, mm. I 
still get surprised when I don't get crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like I'm still this, like, shy 19 year old girl, you know? <laughs> like, I was always the one giving us away. Oh. Remember? I do remember. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't sell it. I paid good money for those IDs. I know, it wasn't the IDs. You got pretty good at it eventually. You were always able to sweet talk the bouncer. So. Oh boy, the Roxy. <laughs> that lady was such a hard ass. What are you like, 10? What's your birthday? What's your address? <laughs> What's your mother's maiden name? Are you an Arden donor? Do you or do you not? Wear corrective lenses. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you say, lady, whatever you say. The only woman to ever see through you. Oh, she terrified me. That could have been her big break. Probably, shit. <laughs> I'm kind of serious. Nah. Our lives have been so different. Not from that one gig. Maybe back in the heyday of the Sunset Strip and that lady's era. <laughs> I wonder what she was like back then. Oh, I know. She would have hated on music. So. Oh, yeah. And her hair. Too flat. Couple of squares. Dweebs. Sellouts. Sellouts with no money. The worst kind. <laughs> yeah, what's the point? <laughs> but yeah, now I, I'll catch myself in a mirror and I'll be like, oh shit, that's a woman. This bitch ain't fucking around. <laughs> <laughs> Or at least I shouldn't be at this age. Mm -hmm. What is age, anyways? You wouldn't say that. But that's all I do, it's fun now, actually. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm not really keeping up. I'm straight now. You a lush? No. Come on, I'm gonna you another. As you wish. Yes, I wish. Um, actually, He's gonna have another one. Okay. One too. And we're gonna do tequila shots too. I've just decided. How about we just do the shots for now? Okay. Yeah. All right. You can only handle just the shots. That's fine. You sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you think someone's mine? He needs it. I'm good. Okay. Do <laughs> what? Yes. I can see that you have gone soft, <laughs> even though you're living on the street. Mmm. Hey. Wow. What service? Good luck. You. <laughs> Much needed. Cheers. Oh. Mm. These are strong too. Mm. I might be in trouble. I haven't drank like this. You're a bad influence. <laughs> I'm the bad influence. Mm -hmm. mm. Jeff Bridges, too. Why? You're a little? Really? Big basket, yeah, a little bit. Mm. You're more spelt, though. Oh, that's all the gym membership. Mm -hmm. I should get one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have totally let yourself go. I know. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> But okay, do you remember when Harry met Sally? When she's like, what is it with men and the godfather? I think that was you, Godfather. Really? Yeah, she like sends it in an email to him. It's a lot of. You've got mail. <gasps> I've got mail. <laughs> You're right. You're right. I can't believe I got that wrong. I am very ashamed of it. You should be. But okay, so, okay, I have this thing that I feel like the equivalent movie of our generation, like with Man and the Godfather, mm -hmm. is The Big Lebowski. Mm. What is it with Man and the Big Lebowski? What? You don't love that movie? It's an amazing movie. See? So sensitive. <laughs> like, I like that movie. I'm just, I like that movie. You know I did. We watched that movie like a thousand times. It was that and you got mail, actually. Mm. You remember? Did they come out around the same time? They must have. Love you got mail. I love that you love you got mail. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. There's just something about men, guys, men. Men. And Lebowski. I don't know what it is. It's 
I don't, oh, it's, I just, it's, it's, a, it's the dude, man, he's a classic. See, it's just in your wiring because you're a dude. <laughs> <laughs> the dude. <laughs> Just one more. Thank you. You're really going for it. Oh. Why did I have what? Sure. Mm. Doctor anymore. I'm sorry. I mean, just in the She's never gonna leave my dad. That's what I've finally come to terms with. So. Yeah. You can't force anyone to do anything, no matter how badly you want it. Yeah. Sorry, so. That's what it is. Mm. I don't think it's such a good idea. I have a music request. Okay. Can you look up Olive Tree by Casimir? No. Yeah. I can do that. Yeah, just do it. Do it, do it. It's um, C A S M I R. No. See, I know Casimir. You know Casimir? Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. He knows Casimir. <laughs> no. We named, this is our band, like we are Casimir. No way. Yeah, we named our band after Hendrik Casimir, the Dutch physicist, because we're <laughs> very smart and very intellectual, and I cannot believe that you have heard of us. <laughs> Please. Which song was it? Olive Tree. Olive Tree? Yeah. Let me see if I can find it. Thank you. Sylvia, come on. Ooh, see, he only calls me Sylvia <laughs> when he's mad. He's gonna like it, don't worry, don't worry. You're gonna love it, it's gonna be fine. It's fine, dude. Is this the one? Yes, 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 yes. Tell me what you have to sing, you have to sing one, it's your part. Tell me what, what to do. do. A gravel in my teeth, sore and aching tongue. Tell me the right way. Yeah, yeah. Come on. You have to sing. It's your part. It's coming. Ready?
If you please, if you please, my art of dreams. How's Teresa? Do you ever talk to her anymore? Teresa? This is about her, right? Like, I don't have to talk about it. Or just... No, it's fine. I, I haven't talked to her in years. Many years. Yeah. I didn't mean to upset you. I know. <laughs> that is a terrible idea. Did you paint this? Yeah. Doesn't mean anything. Okay. That one too? Mm-hmm. What's that room? That's my offense. Did you paint this one? No. I got them from a street artist in Paris and I feel very cool about it. <laughs> Where's your keyboard? Oh, um... We sold it. Mm -hmm. Really? You sure didn't want any water or anything? You should stay a bit. I can make us dinner later. Don't go, okay. Where's this John tonight? Mm, he's in Houston for work. What does he do? He's a photographer. He's very talented. What kind of stuff does he shoot? Mm, 
he shoots, his, most of his paid work is corporate portraits, so it's kind of mundane, or at least he thinks so. But I always try to remind him that at least he's not working some soul crushing office job, you know? Yeah. What does he like to shoot? Uh, he really likes nature and people in nature, even in a broad sense, like people in their natural environment doing whatever it is they do, like like a woodworker in their wood shop or a musician, wherever, as in wherever they do that, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds very interesting. It's beautiful. Unfortunately, he hardly has time for that stuff anymore. We bought this house and we used up all our savings for the down payment. Mm -hmm. So we had this bigger monthly payment plus all the utilities and it's like, how does anybody do this, you know? But he's doing really well now. Actually so much so that we decided it was kind of silly for me to keep working my ass off at the restaurant. So I quit <laughs> like a month ago, which was kind of incredible and kind of crazy. I bet. But I'm not gonna twiddle my thumbs or anything. I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do. But I'm not really in any hurry. I've been working bullshit jobs since I was a teenager, as you know. So, I don't know, I'm just trying a bunch of things. Painting. Exactly. Mm. I'm taking ballet classes. Really? It's ridiculous, I know. <laughs> It's not. Sorry, am I being... Am I being an asshole? No. Why would you say that? I don't know. Sorry. Don't say sorry again. Okay, sorry. Shit. Okay, Sergeant. <laughs> <laughs> Very smooth. <laughs> I want to hear one of your new songs. Wish you were my queen Soul behind my dream Find the golden words mm. Lay me till you breathe It was, yeah, it was different. Very simple. I think it's time for me to go. Mm -hmm. Why don't you just stay? John won't be home for three days, four, four nights. We could go get coffee tomorrow. You could, you know, you could shower. I mean, I'm... 
You could just stay here and be a little more comfortable for a few days. It would be fun. I told you I'm fine with how I'm living my life. I know, I Taking know. you up on that implies that I'm not. No, it doesn't. I feel it's... like I'm always having to defend myself on this issue. And I get it, it's not. I'm not in the business of making you or anyone else feel comfortable with how I live my life. I get it. Okay, I'll stay. You didn't have to do all this. Just relax. You've done more than enough. Okay. See you tomorrow. Nice, Sylvie. <laughs> That's really good. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I always come here, right? Since we moved, I still take the max in just to come here. I have a lot of criteria for a coffee shop to write in. What's your criteria? Well, good coffee. Of course. And just good feng shui. Most places don't have it. It's very important to me. You have feng shui? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's just shorthand for me for like good vibes, good flow. But actually, I did read up on it a little bit, and one of the things they say is that you should always be facing the door, never away from it. And I always place myself that way unconsciously. <laughs> well, I love to generate bad vibes, as you know, which is why I'm facing away from it. No. I think it's because you yourself are a good vibe generator, so you don't need any extra. Mm. I'm getting double facing you in the dark. This is also selfishly why I asked you to stay at my place. I went so long without it, it's like I'm basking in the sun again after living in a hole for 10 years. <laughs> That's actually really sweet. Yeah, now I'm embarrassed. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Give me your hands. Why? Just, come on. We're looking into each other's eyes without looking away for one minute. What? <laughs> Why? Breaks down old tensions and then we can just enjoy each other. Do you have a timer? Mm, yes. <laughs> I take back what I said about your vibes. I'm not surprised. <laughs> One minute? One minute. Okay. Whole 60 seconds. Let's just talk. Okay. Okay. You were saying what you look for in a coffee shop. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it can't be too loud. Like annoying people talking or music too loud. We're talking? No, I mean people on their phones, mostly. Like the other day I heard this guy he was on a conference call for work, so it would be dead silent for a while, and then suddenly... Yeah, Bob, let me jump in really quick and address... <laughs> Ooh, also, they play great music here. 
always the perfect volume. They get it. Oh, this. You at least listen to music. What is that supposed to mean? What are you writing? Hmm? You say you come here and write. Oh, yeah. Uh, short story? Or maybe it's a novel. We'll see. Haven't really gotten into the meat of it. Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> I look forward to reading it. Great. <laughs> She's John's grandma, but I knew her before I knew John. She's a regular at the haunt, the bar where I used to work. She's, she's amazing. She, she's on this thing now where she wants me to sing at her funeral. Oh, is she sick? No, she's perfectly healthy. She just wants to be ready. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. So yeah, I sing her some options. And she wants a hymn and as you know, I'm not a believer. But she always insists that I will be when I get to be her age. We go at it all the time about religion. You would like her. Sounds like it. <laughs> but yeah, I've been trying to find one that I don't feel completely fake when I sing it. Yeah, I can relate. Not into the Jesus stuff. Rose is like that too. Honestly, I'm surprised she wanted a Christian hymn. I almost wonder if it's just in case. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever feel that way? No. But I didn't grow up Christian. Rose did. Uh, maybe we're destined to revert to whatever we grew up with. I, all that stuff was such a comfort to me when I was a kid. That's where they get you. They scare you with the prospect of hell from a young age. And then just... Gotta keep coming back for redemption in the afterlife. Yes, believe me, I know your feelings on this subject. You are the one who turned me into a pagan, if you'll remember. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I believe I went too far, though, if I remember. Uh, yes, I do remember. How can you tell a young girl there is no God and then be like, wait, there is a God, just not in the way you think. And I don't call it God. I call it, well, there is no good word to describe it, but if I had to choose... Yeah. Universal life force, connected consciousness, energy. What are you calling it these days? Again, don't love to label it, but if you must know, it's called the field. In the sense of an electromagnetic field, but it's basically what I've been always talking about. The fact that all people and all animals, plants, matter, we're all interconnected. More specifically, it's called the zero point field, which is actually a term they use in quantum physics. That sounds next level. It is. I mean, it's amazing how religions expect you to follow completely on blind faith most of the time. And why? This is science. It's, there's research to back this up. Really? Yes. I mean, even Casimir, you know. Yes. The Casimir effect says that two mirrors in a vacuum will be attracted to each other through waves of zero-point energy. It always fascinated me, but I never made the connection that we all have, or we all are, this energy at all times. There's this book called The Field by Lynn McTaggart. It lays it all out. Our atoms are constantly in motion in the field to where any action that we take affects the rest of the field. Because the field is our entire universe. It's all of us, we're all interconnected. Come on, this is fascinating. I'm sure it is. There is even scientific research that proves the power of prayer. Come on. Or intuition, guidance, whatever you want to call it. You're losing me. Just the addition of a variable, like you and me sitting here right now, for example, things will change. <laughs> <laughs> You should read the book. It'll change your mind, I swear. I'll consider it. So you still believe in nothing, then? 
Sounds so crass when you say it like that. <laughs> Rose will love you. I'm going to see her again tomorrow. You should come. Also, she's a big fan of our music. Really? Yeah. And she thinks you're a hunk. What? She asked me if I'd tap that. <laughs> she said that? <laughs> Not in those words. Saucy. Especially considering I'm married to her grandson. Uh, true. <laughs> <laughs> she finally warmed me down and forced me to sing for her. I like this lady. I haven't been back in the neighborhood in a very long time. You know where we have to stop. Oh, yeah. You ready? Hey, Hi. how's Hi. it going? She will have a chocolate croissant. Sounds good. He knows me. <laughs> and he'll have a lemon croissant. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. Oh. Hi, love. Guess where I am? Ken. Just me. Treating myself. Mm-hmm. Um. Listen for one second. So I was thinking about what you said um, on Friday, and I think what collaborating with somebody it's is a It's a guy good on idea. his phone in the coffee shop. I have a couple leads what? here. I found this company that. Uh, I have like 30 of these. They just started up last year. I like your idea. Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> no, you promised. That's cool. Why do you have these? I don't know. I I had the urge to do it one day and then I've never stopped. I don't know why. I'm warped. A little bit. Maybe I'll make some kind of performance piece out of it or something. Oh, wait. No. Wait. <laughs> I forgot about that. What was that? Nothing. I just thought of a little ditty the other day and I thought I'd record it. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, it's very kind. Very kind. Very generous. Has a warm heart. What, I'm not kind? Did I say that? Well, am I? You're... Honest. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Which is good. Yeah, you think so. Wanna go peek at the old high school? You know what? I wanna go down there. 
a shirt. I told you I'm warm. Too kind, John. No such thing. Mm. Too kind is good. Unless it's, I don't know, boring. Sylvia. What? 
your kind is good. Don't do that. Don't do what? I know what you're doing. What am I doing? I always appreciated what you did for me when we were kids. Okay. But that doesn't mean you can just stand there like you know me, like you, you're just analyzing me. I don't know what you're talking I about. I think you do. I've done fine without you for 10 years. I gotta call John. I said I'd call him back. Okay. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I know, I know. Croissants and cappuccinos every day. Luxury. How are you? Yeah? Good. I'm good. Mm-hmm. That's great. Yeah. Um, I don't know, nothing really, just hanging out. Yeah. And then you learn the arm positions and you have to be very expressive mm. with that. And you incorporate your head movement like so. Like this. Very nice. And then you have to do all three together. <laughs> and it's quite, it's like going like this. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it. Okay, come here. I'll show you. Come on. Um, okay, so what you do to learn how to point is you you take one foot and you put your heel in front of your ankle and your toe behind the ankle. Sounds painful. Here, hold on. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. you're yeah. Kind you're of. Doing it. All right. And then so when you let go of your foot. Like if that's how you point your toe, no matter where. So like, like you do like a jeté, and you have to have your heel. So point it. Yeah. So do a jeté, which is this, jeté. like okay. a forty-five degree angle. No. <laughs> okay. So. All right. So this way. So point it. Uh huh. No, no, no. It's like this, and then point your toe, and then your heel has to come up. It, it's painful. It is painful. This is why, that's why you like start when you're four years old so that you like change your body. I don't know, I can try. I don't really have enough moves. I don't know. I don't know what to do. It looks good, it looks good. <laughs> Long came to 
two birds in the summer in the window pane. We watched as they flew for miles in an endless game. They laid in on dust as we wonder how far they came. Surrounded in the world, it's a love that breathes the same. Do you have something that gets you? Like, for me, it's bagpipes. They make me cry. <laughs> that and marching bands for some reason. Like anything in a procession. Marching bands make you cry? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't please. I'm surprised you know how to use these things. Don't live under a rock. Just the side of the road. Oh, snap. Okay, we're just gonna see what happens. Yeah, <laughs> see, it's like completely involuntary. Do you have something like that? Oh, I don't know. Choirs of children. Good one. I guess bagpipes too. They always sound sad. I know, right? It's like they're playing the last song humankind will ever hear. Something. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so someone yells split <laughs> and then we turn all our tiles over. Okay. Look what I got first. <laughs> <laughs> That's you. <laughs> oh, and I just found mine. Oh my god, that's two on the nose. <laughs> like, look, look at these letters. So that's like German for... Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's like German for something inconsequential because if it was something significant it would be really long it's true like yeah. much longer it's like german for the or something are you still a night owl the correct question is am i still an insomnia <laughs> true <laughs> i don't feel too bad coming over at all hours of the night mm. back in the day sweet sounds of mario kart soothing you to sleep <laughs> yes <laughs> I considered buying an old N64 to put that on, like, a lullaby. <laughs> really? No. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know. I did equate that to home, safety. It was your home. Or a home that you could always come to. Lucky your parents were such hippies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they definitely thought we were boning. Oh, I know. <laughs> they weren't subtle about it. They gave you a weekly allowance. The currency was condoms. <laughs> <laughs> Safety first. Oh, yeah. You put them to good use, though. That I did. <laughs> I want to ask you something. Anything. Why did you not want to hear Olive Tree yesterday? I'm surprised you asked me that question. Why? I don't know. I, uh... I'm not equipped to answer that kind of question. You've gone long enough without, um... 
I don't need to get into all that. I'm following. <laughs> Good. Let's just keep at that. I was sort of hoping we could sing it to Rose. She loves that song. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I can do that. I've been collecting these beautiful French porcelain teacups, but I only have two so far. <laughs> C'est la vie. Thank you. So you do believe in a man in the sky kind of gone? Yes. Well, no, not really. I think everyone has to find a way to illustrate these big concepts that, that, uh, that they can wrap their heads around, you know, that they can understand. True. Sure. Mm. You keep talking about this field, as you say. And you know, <clears throat> maybe this field is God, but I think religion and philosophy should be more inclusive, not less. Mm. So if it takes a sort of parable for more people to wrap their heads around it, not just say, <laughs> oh, well, forget that, when you try to explain these obtuse concepts, then in my opinion, so be it. I can see that. Hmm. For many people, I don't want to include myself in this, of course, but you can make your own deductions. Religion is the only source of comfort we, they have, especially as you start to get up there in age. That's what I said. Well, no one lives forever. That's a fact. Well. <laughs> in the earthly sense, at least. Oh, but Rose, the field never dies. That's right. Well, I'd like to believe in philosophies that would make me immortal. Seems like the logical approach. <laughs> what are your thoughts on the concept of pantheism? Hmm. We are all God. All things and beings are God. Right, in terms of the field, if the field is God and we are all the field, then logically we are all God. Hmm. You explain that very eloquently, but I feel more humble in my life. I don't, I don't feel that I'm in the driver's seat, so to speak. So a lack of free will? Hmm. I don't know about that. I do make choices. Everyone does. But those choices are based on our thoughts. We each choose a title of a book, any book. Okay. Outline by Rachel Cusk. And why did you choose that book? It's just the first one that came to mind. Beautiful writing. Why didn't you choose something else? Could you have controlled what first popped into your mind? I guess not. And we don't choose where we're born or to whom, would you agree? Yes. And would you agree that our thoughts are the product of the circumstances we're born into? That chain reaction from birth through childhood and school, then adulthood, then old age. Hmm. A child born here will have a complete different set of thoughts than say, a child born in Beijing or in rural Nevada or in a village in India. Yes, I can see that. But what does that have to do with the field? <laughs> hmm. Let me think about that. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting his big idea talks mixed up. <laughs> it must have been some connection, otherwise I wouldn't have brought up the subject. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't make these for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Shit's a chat. Mm hmm. <laughs> Give me a run for your money. Okay. <laughs> oh. Thought you might like to tool around oh, on this. Very nice. <laughs> I was so enamored with those on a trip to Kauai that John, my late husband, bought that for me. Mm. But I never learned to play. <laughs> I just enjoyed others coming over and playing it. It's beautiful. What are you going to sing? I don't know. Um... May I say, Rosa, you have a very healthy view on death. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. I 
just like hearing her sing. <laughs> <laughs> Wrapped in sheets so tight, cocoon I won't undo. Tell me what to say, please. Tell me what to do. Got gravel in my teeth, sore and aching tongue. Tell me the right way to lie down and what I've done. She just has this, like, this purity about her, about life just in general. Just has a very good outlook on life. It's, it's really nice. It's very refreshing, actually. It's just a, there's a grace about her. I don't know, it's, it's, it just kind of puts me in awe. So stupid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Strike that from the record, please, William. It's not that I. He, it's not that we don't have a connection. It's just. We do. No, of course we do. It's just that he's. He's more like a regular person, you know? Like he just kind of lives his life. He's not trying to do something bigger with, I don't mean that. I, that sounds bad. I, he's, he's not thinking about bigger things. He's not like a philosopher. You know what I mean? He just, he just lives day to day. And I kind of actually, I actually like kind of envied that about him. It's more 
pure. No, it's like just easier, you know? Easier. <laughs> like, I wish I could just. I don't know what I'm saying. Still coming to my gig tonight? Um, no, why wouldn't I? Another round? Um, I think I'm good. Are you. <laughs> I'm gonna need another. Yeah, okay. friend in the audience by the name of Sylvia. Um, she's been working on a brand new song, Your Home Is Here, and she is just dying to show everyone a new song. So as I am stripping down, I'll just get her thing. And I think there's even a keyboard here that she can play. I think it's on. Sylvia, why don't you come on up? I mean, everything's already connected for you. It's just one. This is thing. Oh yeah, it's on. Too bad. He blindsided me with that. The song. Well, um, I've never played it for anyone because it's not even finished. Uh, but I guess I'll try. Thanks a lot, David. Um, actually, David. Come back up here. I'm gonna use you for this. Get that mic. Put it right here, right there. And actually, you know what? I'm gonna use all of you guys because I need all the help I can get. Um, okay, how many people can sing like a little bit? You don't have to be great. Okay, good. Yeah, awesome. Okay, so those of you who can sing, you don't have to be great, seriously. You're gonna sing this part, wait, hold on. Yeah, this is good. Okay, yeah, and I have a part for the non-singers, don't worry, but um, David, you're gonna sing this too. Okay, ready? Here, this is how it goes. Yo. Super simple, it's just a beat. It goes like this, very simple. That's it, like stomp, clap, stomp, clap. You guys wanna try it, can you do it? Can't just 
Stick to singing. Okay, let's we'll try it. We'll see what happens. Alright. Okay. On the count of three. Oh no, the people who are doing the beat. Do it. that interlude but it was so cool to see the audience come together and, and sing it I mean it was so cool to hear that like you know I love gang vocals it was it was perfect I mean so I tried that high part at the end I needed to kind of commit to that more but I mean it's gonna be yeah I just need to practice it more it'll be great I'm sorry I kind of messed up your name What do you mean? I didn't know if you changed your last name or not, so I just called you Sylvia. Oh, that's okay. You can just call me Sylvia, like Madonna, or Selena, or Zendaya. Perfect. <sighs> that couch is terrible. I was feeling a bad crick in my back, probably those sagging springs. Why don't you just sleep with me? I mean, like, in my bed, no funny business. I was just kidding. I know, but I mean, come on, this is silly. No, it's fine. You've done more than enough for me. I didn't know me. I slept in your bed like every day when we were kids. Yeah, we were kids. Then teenagers with plenty of condoms at our disposal. <laughs> I mean, come on, we're adults. If we could sleep together platonically when we were teens with raging hormones, then I'm certain we can do it now. Good night. Good Do you ever 
run into any unsavory characters out there. Of course not. But don't you like sometimes, is there ever any times where you feel unsafe? It's life, right? Do you always eat food the same color that you dress in? <laughs> I didn't notice that. <laughs> yes, it's a rule that I live my life by. <laughs> Do you get lonely out there? No. You don't? <laughs> no, not at all. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Today's the last day together, right? Yeah. Pretty much. It's uh, getting in at noon, I think, tomorrow. Then let's play out today. We'll see. Australia. He went to Paris for your honeymoon, I bet. How did you know that? I got this painting from oh, a local no. artist in oh, Paris, no. and I feel so <laughs> cool about but it. But I didn't say it was for my honeymoon. A lucky guess. Yeah, it's pretty cliche, isn't it? Hold on, look at that. What? What is happening? There must be a game today. Who knows from the pub to the I don't
What do you do in winter? What do you mean? Like when it's cold and raining every day. You've got a rain flat. Sounds kind of miserable. Nothing beats falling asleep to a little pitter patter. Sure. Isn't that why we live here? We love the rain. We're introverts. You've got the only successful bookstore, what, in the country? Because people love to curl up in wintertime and read a book. You're not an introvert. Yes, I am. And it's pretty different when you have a warm home to go to. Got a warm sleeping bag. Why don't you work at a coffee shop or something? Here we go. What? How bad would that be? Sounds great. I'll work at a Starbucks. Not a Starbucks. Any of the bazillion independent coffee shops here. I'd have to work full time just to pay rent. Sure, but you'd probably have a lot of downtime. Like that place that I go, the people in there, they're, they're usually, I see them reading books. They work on a laptop even. You could write your music. I know the manager. I could see if they have any openings. Or what about, you could work at Pals, you could work at a record store. I mean, that's what people do, right? They work full time and then they pursue their passions in their spare time. Is it? Miss, I don't have to work a day job? Well, I'm extremely lucky. I've already expressed that. And look at everything that you've accomplished with your time. What's that supposed to mean? Ballet lessons, painting, writing a fucking novel, performance pieces involving <laughs> Illegal recordings of unsuspecting douchebags? And? Everything. And nothing. <laughs> That's fucking insulting. It's not true. Feel free to correct me. Enough, or do you want to do something for dinner? I'm good. Okay. Look, I don't want our last night. I'm to sorry be, like, for what I said. That was a really shitty thing for me to say. I know you're trying to figure things out, trying a bunch of stuff, and that's great. All right. Thanks. I shouldn't have said the thing about the job. You've told me what you're doing and why, and it's none of my business how you make your money or where you live. I'm sorry. <laughs> OK. Want to watch a movie tonight? Yes. You've got Mail or The Big Lebowski? Both. <laughs> <laughs> Ice cream? Neapolitan. Who are you? Just kidding. White Russians? Now you're really kidding. <laughs> Hold on, that might be John. Uh-oh. What? Um. What? He's on his way. What? I don't know, you got another flight or something, like... Like he's on the plane, or... Like the... he's in the air, like he landed, he got his luggage, he's... Why didn't he tell you sooner? I don't know, karma. I, I think he wanted to surprise me. Sylvia.
Wrapped in sheets so tight, cocoon I want What are you doing? Do. I know this isn't about Teresa. Tell me what to do. I mean, come on, it's so obvious. Why didn't you say anything? Why didn't you? You were with a different girl every night. I don't know. I, I didn't know how to... I mean, and you drank like you were trying to kill yourself. And that and your posse poked up before every show. Do you know how embarrassed I was? That's not me anymore. No, now you live in a tent on the side of the road. Fuck you. Fuck you! You you ruined our career and now you're gonna get on me for not playing music? Fuck you. You didn't ruin our career. It was going nowhere and you know that. Yeah, from the moment we arrived in LA it was going nowhere because you weren't willing to put in the work. You were too caught up in the fucking scene. Hey, I'm sorry. You're right. How likely do you really believe it is that we've made it? Zero percent if you don't try. What was the point of even going? It's just I didn't think it was gonna be so hard. I thought we really had something. I thought everybody would see it right away. Maybe they would have. But now I don't care about making it. I just wanna be happy. I want you to be happy. I want to be Great, if you want me to be happy, get the fuck out. You don't mean that. Yes, I do. John will be here any minute. Turn that off, please. I'll go, but just please. No bullshit this time. No rock star complex. I'm not a dumb kid anymore. It's just about the music. It's just about the art. Just you and me. Us. Why didn't you ever tell me? Apparently you already knew. You were so sweet to me all those nights in your room and then outside of that you... You hardly really talked to me. I I felt like I was I, like I didn't exist or something. Like 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 I like I was this broken thing that you didn't want to bother with. I'm sorry you felt that way. I'm sorry I made you feel that way. I was just a kid, you know. I know how to act, how to be strong for you all the time. It was like I needed an outlet. I tried really hard. I know it didn't seem like it, but I really did. I know you did. I was protective of you. I didn't think you wanted me in that way. I always have, you know. It's not enough. We can take it slow. We don't. You're being crazy. I know. I'm 10 years late, but I'm here right in front of you, so. You have to go. It's always how it should have been. You know it. I like my life. Sure, it's easy. It's not easy. I love John. I love this house. You do realize that this is all just make believe, right? I'm sorry. Things aren't as easy for you, but that's not my problem. This house. Your husband, your job, this is all just an illusion. You have to go. I won't.
David, you have to go. I'm serious. I'm not gonna let you just throw your entire life away. You come crawling back into my life after 10 years and I'm throwing away my life because I'm not gonna like frolic into the sunset with you? No, because you're gonna waste away here. You don't know anything about my life here. Don't be with me there. Fine. But don't do this. Don't do what? This is what people do, David. You should be making music. Fine. I'll make music, okay? If that means you'll leave. Why can't we be together? You know why. Because you're married. Who gives a shit? This is your life. So. Right, it's my life. It's us. It's you and me. We're linked. Not that shit again. You know we are. Everybody's linked, right? Every single person on Earth. You can't just use that bullshit when it's convenient for you. What about all the crazy stuff? The piano, the bagpipes. You feel it, I know you do. Why did you come back? What? It's my campsite. You came back for a reason. You did all this. You invited me into your house, into your bed. You kissed me. I don't know. You do. This is just a restart. What is 10 years when you're talking time, which is infinite, just like the universe, just like you and me? I like my life. I keep telling us something. David, he's gonna be here any minute, please. Tell me you're not making the safe choice or still, and then I'll go. Get out! Just say it. I'll call the cops, I swear Tell to God. Tell me I'm making the safe choice, and then I'll leave. David! Just say it! No, okay? I can't say it. I can't. You're right. But this is what I want, okay? You can tell me it's the safe choice until you're blue in the face, but I want safe. I never had safe. Okay? feel a pain like something is missing like you've got this fucking hole in your chest cavity i feel mine with booze and drugs and then i learned to fill it with music real music not trying to make a hit not trying to please anybody you can do the same too okay David! We'll still be connected, right? The field? Yeah. Yo.